everyone welcome back to the channel and welcome if you're new my name is liz so for today's video we are looking at the month ahead the month of june 2024 so i love doing the monthly readings i had wanted to get this up a little earlier but i'm happy to be getting it up on time and no matter when you're tuning in in the month uh, it's okay because we go week by week with the charms. So we're going to get a weekly little forecast of what's going on. We use the charms, the letters, the numbers, the pendulum, lots of cards. We got very specific info and we also did love messages as well with romance angels. So let's jump into it. I want to show you what we have here. Um, as always, have fun with my readings. If it doesn't resonate, then this one might not be for you. Uh, ultimately, my readings are for entertainment, but I hope that there is a message today that resonates. Uh, but yeah, have fun with it. We have some fun choices today, so let's dive in. So for group one, we have the cup of tea. Patience and reassessment. Group two, we have the fruit card, achievement and success. And group three, we have preserve, so security, forethought, and thrift. So whichever group or number, one, two, or three, you feel drawn to, that will be your message today. I hope you have fun with it. I hope you have a fantastic month. If you haven't already, do consider subscribing and hitting that like button. All of that does help my channel. And you can also hit the bell notification so that you'll be notified of every video that I post. And yeah, what else? Oh yeah, Patreon. I do have a Patreon that's linked below. I post every single week and there is some bonus content. I actually just went through some yard sale and antique store finds uh, in a recent video. So if you want to check that out, that'll be linked below in the description. But yeah, let's jump into it. I'll put the timestamps below. I hope you're having a great day whenever you're watching this. And I hope you have a fantastic month ahead. And we will start with group number one. If you chose the cup of tea, then this is your messages for the day ahead. Super excited to see. No, not day ahead. Why did I say that? That's so. Okay, first of all, I want to say I'm going to not start over because that's really funny that I did that. This is for the month. This is for the full month of June. Here's the thing. I woke up very. It's early. I never ever film in the morning. I usually like filming at night or in the late afternoon. But today was different. Like I got up early. I kind of laid in bed for a little while. Then I made tea and then, uh, and it's still like really early. I still have to go to work, but I have extra time this morning. So I thought, okay, you know what? I want to film group one. I feel like filming right now. I'll, I'll get started with the reading, do what I can and you know, do the rest later. So I got up early, made some tea, uh, laid in bed for a little bit. And then I, you know, got ready for the day, but that could be part of your message is sort of because I started the reading accidentally by saying the day ahead. So you could be kind of trying to plan your days differently with reassessment possibly. I feel like you could be reassessing schedules or routines or even like something like today, getting up early so that you can kind of take things a little bit slower. Because you know, sometimes when we wake up, it's like, okay, we feel like we're in a rush. We've got to get our day going. So it's interesting. I feel like you're scheduling time in so that you can kind of slow down and take your time. So that's interesting. Group one. Two of pentacles. Okay, that's really interesting here because we've seen like, we see like this meeting, like it looks like a computer screen with things popping up, like meeting 6 p.m. Yeah, I think a, a large part of your month or going into the month is you trying to reassess your schedule or routine because this person actually looks kind of Looks like they might have even have double booked something. So you could that could be something you're trying to work on is like making more time for yourself or reassessing maybe what you're taking on. Because I feel like you're juggling a lot. I feel like you've got a lot going on. This could be an indication that the month ahead is going to be quite busy. And that you're trying to kind of plan ahead for certain things. Let's see. <clears throat> Determination. Okay. Group one. Compliments from an admirer. Very cool. Forest, muddled, unclear thinking. Love, deep affection, and caring. I'm going to put these together. We'll get you some love cards too. Get you one more of these. Money path. A path with money is waiting for you to find it. I always love the phrasing of this card because it's saying this path is waiting for you, okay? Because I'm, I'm kind of sensing... 
you're trying to get to a certain destination or a certain goal as fast as possible. I, I'm seeing you, you're very determined, okay? And I think you could be overwhelming yourself with this two of pentacles because this is your card of the month, all right? So that's kind of how I wanted to do things today. I've got an extra deck here for clarification if we need it, but your card of the month is the two of pentacles. So this can be a really good thing. This can be that you are juggling things actually pretty well, that you're just very busy. Usually if I see the two of pentacles in a week ahead or a month ahead reading, I know it's going to be likely busy or there's a lot going on. There's a lot to handle. Uh, this can also be when we're making a decision this can be sometimes when we're shuffling things around, shuffling around like resources. I'm getting something about paying different bills. But yeah, you are very determined, I'm seeing, for the month. I think you've got a lot of goals. I think you have a lot of things you want to accomplish. I will say, though, with reassessment being one of your keywords, it might be time to kind of reassess how much you're planning on doing. And I'm not saying, like, don't set goals and work hard towards them. Not at all. But... I, I think there's the potential for the month ahead to really overwhelm yourself. So what I'm getting here is it might be time to kind of reassess what you're scheduling. And this might come up throughout the month too. You might not know what this is quite yet, but as the month progresses, you might be like, oh, okay, yeah, <laughs> I'm seeing where this is happening. So uh, yeah, again, nothing wrong with being busy. I'm seeing you as being very determined. I think you've got goals. I think you have possible financial goals that you're trying to reach. Uh, you could have taken on an extra job or some extra you know, things throughout the month. So nothing wrong with that. But there is a feeling of like reassessing uh, because you may start to feel a little bit overwhelmed or a little bit burnt out at certain points. All right. Okay, so let's see here. We'll get you a butterfly card. We're going to go week by week with the charms as well. <clears throat> Group. Changing your mind. Interesting. I read that one in a few different ways. I'll get you a few love cards. And feel free to take the love messages or not. You don't have to, uh, if you're not interested in romance right now. But you do, have, you, I will say though, you do have love, deep affection, and caring, as well as compliments from an admirer. So let's kind of see what this might be about. What is going on here? I don't know if you're making time for this, though, is my is my question here. I just think... Oh, find it's in career. Yes. Um, I just think you seem more focused on uh, s s other things that you've got going on. It's almost like you're like, I don't have time for this right now. Uh, or that's sort of... It doesn't mean necessarily that's how you're feeling. You might want to make more time for relationships. But this could be the frustration. This could be kind of like, oh, you know, I don't... I feel like I'm not in that energy right now. I feel like you seem distracted almost. Group one. You've got release your ex. Let's get one more here. Trust. The situation is call is asking or calling for you to have faith. Okay. Let's dive in here. I'll get to love in a second. I'm actually just going to set these aside because we can pull more cards for that. Okay. So group one, let's see here. Yeah, okay, so with forest muddled, unclear thinking, I think organization is going to be really important for you to get what you want to do done. And just going back to like this morning, so ordinarily I wouldn't film in the morning just because I like to kind of film later in the day. I just feel like I pick up messages a little bit easier. So by the way, if I feel, if you feel like I'm taking a little bit longer today, that's, <clears throat> that's possibly why. But, uh, but yeah, I just feel like you, uh, are getting organized, trying to get yourself organized. You could be changing your schedule a little bit to kind of fit different things in as well. Uh, so there's a, a strong theme of reassessment. I might actually read this to you as well. We'll see. But yeah, there's a strong theme of reassessing, slowing down a little bit. I think there could be the temptation this month to take on more or agree to too many things. So I think you might have to be a little bit more uh, intentional or specific with what you want to take on is what I'm getting, okay? Uh, what I'm getting to tell you is there's going to be certain things that are going to be more... What's the word I'm looking for? <laughs> this is the thing with filming in the morning. But there's going to be certain things that might be more... Better use of your time, I guess, is, is the best way to put it. Okay, let's. I want to read this to you to kind of launch us into this reading. So cup of tea. Get 
forgetting to tell you, you don't need to agree to everything this month. There could be some things that are getting rescheduled as well. <clears throat> so it says, remember, a watch pot never boils. Let it do its work on its own time and trust in your process. Use the time to reflect on the situation and how you feel about it and reassess your perspective. A cup of The cup of tea card reminds you that perhaps not all is as it seems. The reflection here, are there lessons you can learn from a difficult situation that you haven't considered yet? Interesting. So a cup of tea provides you with a moment of quiet. Savor the process and stay present. This brewing takes time. Okay, yeah, because I think, here's the thing. Again, I think you're very determined. I think you want to get as much done as possible. And for you, that might mean, or right now, it kind of feels like, okay, the more I do, the more I can get done. But that's not always the case. There is a benefit to kind of slowing down and focusing on one thing at a time. So I think that might be helpful for you as well. It says, have patience and let things ripen. Just as an infusion of herbs takes time to come to its full potency, magical work rarely produces instantaneous results. Okay, so yeah, there is a feeling of like slowing down. I think you do want to see results very quickly. Uh, but the thing is with muddled, unclear thinking, I think you might be doing too much at once or it could benefit you to pause and kind of reassess a plan. So I think that might be what you're doing in the month ahead is reassessing some things changing some things around, rescheduling some things, working on your schedule or your routine. That's strongly what I'm getting. Okay. You've got a money path is waiting for you to find it or a path with money is waiting for you to find it. So I think I mentioned it, but I love the phrasing here because it's like, this is waiting for you. It's okay to take your time with this. Okay. It's, it, I, I, I just keep getting this sense of like urgency. Like I have to get this done. I have to do all this. Uh, so there's a feeling of burning yourself out or taking on too much coming up in the month ahead. So just keep that in mind. Sometimes the cards kind of like to give us a little bit of like warning uh, almost or just something to be aware of. Not even a warning, but something to be aware of. <clears throat> Group one. So I want to know what are you changing your mind? Because changing your mind could be changing your mindset in regards to something. Uh, changing your mind could be changing your mind about a situation like you know, something like, oh, this is what I thought, but now I don't feel that way. So there could be something or somebody you're changing your mind about in the month ahead as well. What's happening with changing your mind? Two of pentacles again. Oh. <sighs> Okay, yeah, there's definitely a feeling of like having options and I'm kind of getting you're having a hard time deciding, changing your mind. Like, I feel like you chose one thing. It, this could have to do with work. This could, again, have to do with a relationship, but you're, cha you're changing something. You're changing, you've decided to change something in the month ahead. So I feel like you've got like options possibly even more options than you think with something the other thing too is with reassessment there could be something that you reassess in the month ahead that changes your mind okay so there could be something that you find out or something that helps clarify this situation and it causes you to change your mind so give yourself the time i think you've like there's it seems like there's this undertone pressure of having to have it all figured out give yourself slow down give yourself some time to do some research with something so determination is the power within to keep you from giving up on your dreams okay so yeah maybe there's a feeling of like okay if i if i pause or if i change my mind with this doesn't mean i'm giving up on my dreams no okay i think you're just again you're making some changes uh, some alterations to certain things that are necessary. I think you've also changed or something something involving this goal has changed. So maybe your original method or your original plan um, isn't necessarily working as well. Okay, so again, you, you seem to kind of be, it's almost like a middle of the year assessment of like what's working and, and what's not. It's almost kind of like seven of pentacles energy in a certain way but yeah you seem to kind of be looking back and making some changes so I think June is actually going to be a very productive month it might not always feel like you're making big strides or making big moves with things but it's actually good because I think you're eliminating what's unnecessary I think you're kind of cleaning up your schedule a little bit and I think you are taking charge of certain things um, there could be some things too in the month that you need to a, or kind of address that you've been procrastinating and these things could actually make things work more efficiently is what's coming through but yeah the fact that you have like your two messages being two of pentacles yeah this could mean a lot of things this could just mean you've got a lot to juggle like i said you're trying to keep a lot of different balls in the air essentially with juggling <clears throat> and it Here's the thing. Usually it actually indicates just a feeling of like productivity and busyness and feeling like, okay, I've got a lot of, a lot to work with here. It can talk about 
uh, even more to work with. Okay. So sometimes it can be a good thing, but the thing is we've got forest and we've got this person here kind of looking a little bit stressed. So I'm kind of leaning towards, I feel like you've just got a lot you want to accomplish uh, or a lot going on is what I'm feeling. Uh, you could also be juggling some sort of choice and you're changing your mind about that. You could also be worried about like, Hey, what, what does changing my mind mean? Is this going to mess things up? You could be uh, I'm getting your, you could be backing out of a situation or changing your mind about a situation or a certain commitment in the month. Okay. So something maybe you committed to, you're deciding, you know what? I really, I don't think I have time for this, or I think I need to adjust this. So yeah. You seem to be making a lot of adjustments. Okay. Let me get a little bit more here. What do we need to know about this money path? Three of pentacles. Okay. So coffee and chocolate. So it says chocolate frosting with a coffee flavor filling and coffee bean decoration. So coffee, tea, this is really cool. Uh, you could be just, coffee and tea could be a big part of your life, okay? This Because we've got lots of like cafe, cafe energy or like coffee, iced coffee, tea, all of that. So anyways, uh, you could be also, this could actually be having an effect on your focus as well. Like maybe you get burnt out, like you get all of this energy in the day because you're drinking all of this coffee and then you get burnt out. So that could be something you're paying attention to as well. I don't know. But uh, yeah, three of pentacles. This is really good too, because this could actually indicate that you are approaching something like not trying to do it all yourself, or you could actually be trying to I like the three of pentacles for taking care of something or figuring out what needs to be done. It can be a problem solving card. So I really like that. I think you're, you're solving lots of problems or making, you know, uh, different changes in the month. You could also be working with more people. There's a sense of teamwork with the three of pentacles or a sense of like enlisting other people's expertise. I think also I'm kind of getting the sense that a lot of people want to work with you in the month or want to get in contact with you, want to be around you. So that could also be what's kind of adding to this. That could be because of business or work, but, but people are kind of gravitated towards you uh, in the month. Even seeing with this with compliments from an admirer, people are admiring you. Like they want to kind of know more. You could be in, in a job too, where you are dealing with like lots of emails and questions and consulting possibly could be part of your job. Uh, but I too, I see you doing some con consulting with someone else. Okay. So you could be getting some expertise from someone else or even getting some help with something. All right. So this is encouraging a teamwork approach to something or getting some help. So if you are feeling swamped, if you're feeling like overwhelmed, this is definitely encouraging, like get some help, ask some people for their opinion. I'm getting that there's a, I keep, I don't know if I've, I'm sorry if I've been repetitive with this, but there's a much more efficient way of doing something or you're taking on something that might be unnecessary, or it's very easy for you to kind of agree to everything. Um, you could be kind of, where's my little, I don't have it with me, but you could be using something like a planner going forward or changing the method of organization or daily planning that you do. Or this is saying that this could help you getting some sort of planner or getting something that will help you stay organized could really help because, yeah, I'm seeing potential for like double booking. It came in earlier, but I'm seeing that again here. I think you're going to be have to be a little bit more selective with what you agree to in the month ahead as well. OK, so let's look at love really quickly. You've got love affection and deep caring compliments from an admirer you've got finances and career trust and release your ex all right so you may be having some questions about you know like this could be you after a breakup trying to manage finances or something like that or uh, feeling like okay I'm really trying to adjust like you could be trying to adjust and this could be causing some confusion. There could be a, de a decision that you made that you're starting to doubt. Like, oh, did I make the right decision? Whether this has to do with love or not. But this could be sort of how you're feeling with changing your mind. It's like, oh, did I make the right choice with this? Things seem really complicated now. I feel like I've confused things. I feel like I've almost made things more complicated for myself. But it could just be an adjustment period, okay? Or a period of time that you're just kind of getting used to the, something new. All right? So don't let that uh, cause you to doubt your decisions. So... I just want to say that right away. So you've got trust. So this situation is calling for you to have faith. So there's a situation in love where it's asking you to really trust the process or trust. And even with patience, like you could be having, having to be really patient in a situation with love. Maybe you're being really patient to find someone. Maybe there's something you really want to work on first before you uh, start dating. So that could be 
And, and too, with patients too, this could be taking some time as well. Releasing somebody could take some time, even if it's someone you just talked to for a little while, but you really kind of had high hopes for. So I'm getting to trust the process, give yourself some time. And also right now, it might not, if you, if you are feeling kind of like unclear about things, maybe this is a good thing that you're addressing other things in your life, possibly with work or finances or routine or just day-to-day -day things before you dive into, of course, you know, I'm not telling you what to do, but there's sort of a feeling of like you're being hard on yourself because you seem to kind of want to have everything juggled at once. You seem to kind of want to be like, okay, my love life has to be perfect and my career and my money situation and my social life and my hobbies. Like you see seem to kind of feel like everything has to be being balanced at once but right now this could be the focus right now your schedule your routine certain goals that you have you're you seem to kind of be getting back on track with something or trying to uh, get certain things done so this seems to be pulling most of your focus so it's it's saying like right now if this is where your head is at, that's okay, right? If, if your head is at finances and career and you feel like, oh no, is this delaying meeting someone? Or, you know, am I not, am I not giving myself enough time for relationships right now? You know, that could also be what you're assessing because this card too can be about like life balance. So you could be trying to bring something back in balance, but don't be hard on yourself if something else is taking up most of your focus right now because you seem to be really trying to get clear about something, whether that's career or a uh, personal goal or something around the house or finances. Like this seems to be your focus right now. And I think once you, once you make these adjustments or do this assessment or possibly get some help um, or take care of something then I think things, other things will kind of feel a little bit more balanced. But yeah, very interesting. Okay, so let me see what else is coming through here. Yeah, I'm thinking some of you could have broken up with someone and this has made a major change in your life. You're having to readjust to a different way of living. There could have been a brief period of time where you started to think you wanted to go back to someone or start talking to someone again with changing your mind like there could be a feeling of like feeling very unclear about what to do with a person like do I go back do I start talking to them so you could be making up your mind about that or changing your mind making a decision because this always makes me think like it looks almost as if they're burning a piece of paper the time has come to clear your energy so yeah I feel like you are trying to kind of clear out a situation once and for all I think June for you is actually going to be fantastic, group one. I think you are setting yourself up for a really successful second half of the year, but there's some work to be done. Like there's some things that need to get cleaned up, organized, clarified, scheduled. Again, I think I said it, but I think a planner, like a, a planner or some sort of new organizational method could help you as well. Compliments from admirers. So somebody's, somebody new could also be coming in that's causing you to change your mind as well. So somebody new could be messaging you. You could meet this person at work because there's lots of like three of pentacles. It could be someone you're working with. Honestly, I think this isn't just romantic though. I think people are just complimenting you because I'm getting this feeling of people being gravitated towards you. It feels like everyone wants some time with you and that too could be overwhelming you as well. You could be having a hard time balancing your friendships with work right now or your relationships with work. Because I, like I feel like you have things you want to do. So it's almost like I don't have time right now for this. This reassessment too also, like I said, is I think um, showing you what isn't working anymore. I think something that worked for you earlier in the year, it just isn't working anymore. Like you're, you're having to change something. Let's get you some charms. get you some important dates okay so you have got june 2nd june 11th and the 9th and this could also be the 29th i'm going to read 29 from the angel book as well and then we'll dive into charms center hold on to your purpose when the swirling forces of life distract you oh my gosh this makes sense Remember what your goals are. So there's lots of things that seem to be distracting you. 
You have a reason to be here. Focus on that and all will be well. Lie down and place your hands on your solar plexus chakra just above the navel. Repeat this mantra, I have a purpose. So yeah, I mean, that could be making you feel kind of confused as, as far as like what your focus is as well. It's just because I like how it says when the swirling forces of life distract you. So I feel like there's lots of distractions. Remember what your goals are. So remember what your purpose is. Like what is the, what is that thing that really fires you up but if you don't really know that that could be what you're figuring out in June like that thing that you know really makes you feel motivated and determined uh, the thing that you love to do the most <clears throat> could possibly be what you're focused on but I, I love how it says that when the swirling forces of life distract you remember what your goals are I think there's been a lot of distractions or it could indicate that you're working through a lot of distractions in the month ahead but yeah the 29th the 11th the 9th and the 2nd could be important Okay, so let's take a look at charms here, and then we'll do letters and numbers. So you've got the computer here. You've got the little fairy with the lock. You've got XOXO. Yeah, somebody's sending you some sort of message, possibly by computer, with the admirer card. Someone's complimenting you, and I think it's going to be online. You could be changing your mind in regards to direction with the changing your mind card. Let me just pull these closer here. Stepping into new experiences with the leg. Somebody's for sure trying to get your attention. I'm seeing like someone, someone's trying to, I, I don't know if it's, maybe you have been too distracted to notice. I don't even know if you've noticed this, but somebody's like, somebody's got some feelings for you here. I feel like there's more with love that I'm not picking up on right now. Because we got finances and career. I just need to get one more clarif clarifier here. So what's going on with this love situation then? Group one. Two of one, strawberry dream. I'm wondering if, you've, if you're making a choice or if you've recently made a choice about two people. But anyway, somebody, somebody, there's definite mutual attraction. This is somebody that you seem to, to be also wondering about or at least attracted to or someone you could meet in the month. Because uh, two of wands is usually a really good sign for like mutual attraction and interest. So that's really good. Uh, so strawberry topping with a vanilla drizzle. Mm, interesting. Okay. So yeah, this person, there's somebody that's like super attracted to you. The two of you could bond over like similar passions or ideas. Again, this could be someone from work. Now, it's saying love, like, I, I feel like you might have a history or already a relationship with this person. Because I, I don't necessarily think it's someone brand new. Because there's already a sense of, like, that familiar or deep love and affection. Like, this is somebody that already cares about you. It's, it's someone that you really get along with. I think you likely have a very similar sense of humor with this person. You laugh about the same things, similar interest in music, movies, that kind of thing. But yeah, there's definitely an attraction. But there's almost like a conflict here. Like, there's a... a slight confusion undertone to your reading so this could be also what you're figuring out but yeah someone's very attracted to you you might ex like they might compliment you more throughout the month i think you are cleaning up your schedule i said that earlier but cleaning up your schedule i think you're working on like okay i need to i can't do this as much because it's not giving me as much time for the things i do want to do because uh, you almost kind of seem like resentful of a situation that you maybe signed up for or agreed to or something you're just not as invested in. You almost kind of seem like your heart's not in it anymore. So that, I think that's also what you're assessing. Um, I think you're kind of branching off. I think what worked for you in one at one time doesn't work for you anymore. I think you're branching off. I think your interests are branching off as well. There's a lot about like going in different directions here. So I think you could, with changing your mind, also be going in a different direction with something, an idea, uh, maybe a method of something that is no longer you know working for you. You're you're going in a different direction. This could also be creatively as well. You could be changing things creatively. This is interesting. This is making me think you're unlocking. Uh, different solutions to different imagine like imaginative ideas okay because you've got the fairy with the lock the fairy makes me think of imagination uh, magic but the lock I, I specifically just got a message about unlocking specific solutions so you're unlocking some sort of solution or idea or something like that your imagination I think you're an imaginative person as well I think you're someone that comes up with like lots of solutions I don't think you like this feeling of confusion I mean who does right but um, I think 
things have been confusing and I feel like usually you kind of know what direction you want to take things but right now it's been a little bit more difficult and I think that's what you're reassessing. You've got the frog. This can be about cleansing, new beginnings, transformation, change. I'm thinking of that as leaping forward as well. I, th I think you're making some leaps forward in the month. You seem to be on your computer or the internet a lot. There's something about computer work. Uh, it's things you're doing online possibly this could also have to do with love but the computer is a big part of that first week there for whatever reason uh cool because you've got unlocking imaginative ideas and then the second week you've got this light bulb moment this aha moment or moment of clarity you've got judgment so yeah there's a feeling of like rebirth here as well you've got this little hand this is interesting too because i feel like everything you touch in the second week for whatever reason turns to gold like you've got the midas touch what you're working on it's almost kind of like you've unlocked a solution within the first week. So I think actually June is really going to be a month of like getting things taken care of. It might, again, at moments feel unproductive because you feel like, okay, I'm, I'm going backward or I'm trying to take care of this, but it's actually setting you up for a really efficient rest of the year. Yeah, you seem to kind of be like the second week for whatever reason, eight of wands energy. This is lots of a lot going on. Uh, and you seem to be taking care of it or have lots of clarity within the second week. It's almost like you're coming up with some sort of solution. You're making some sort of choice possibly in the second week as well. You're also using your best judgment with the situation. Very decisive, especially in the fourth week. You're, you're really decisive for whatever reason. I'll get there. You've got the lemon. So this, again, uh, fresh cleansing. Uh, the lemon can be a cleansing message. The lemon can also be about uh, when life gives you lemons, you make lemonade kind of situation. You've got go for a walk. Yeah, I think too what you could be lacking or feeling like you need to make more time for is just that self-care of like going for a walk, making tea. Um, you know, I think walking away from a situation or making sure to remember to like not overwhelm yourself or not burn yourself out could be important. Walking could be an important thing for you just in general for the month. Like you might want to make more time for walks or hikes, things like that with a friend possibly. You aspire to great things, begin with little ones. One thing I want to say that just came into um, with your three of pentacles, the little hand here. Right now, it's not a good time to kind of like shut everyone out because you're busy. Now is actually a good time for teamwork, collaboration, working with other people, uh, sharing goals, like sharing ideas. Like now is a good time to actually be a little bit more open with people and that might help you as well because someone 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 might have a solution that you hadn't thought of or might help clarify something because I'm seeing you as a little bit secretive in general um or just kind of like a little bit closed off a little bit like locked up uh with certain things I'm getting you're a little bit possessive of a certain idea or certain thing that you're working on um so yeah, I think there could be a helping hand or somebody that can help you move forward. So you aspire to great things, begin with little ones. So in the third week, especially, it's really encouraging, to, like starting one thing at a time. I think you tend to try and do too much at once. I do this too. I get very distracted, like because I want to get so many things done. I'm like, I'll do this. Then I jump to another task and then I jump to another task. So maybe finding some certain methods to help you focus on one thing at a time, like deal with one thing and then the next thing and this also talks about like how not to underestimate the little steps that you take because again earlier I said I think you're really in a rush to get somewhere so don't underestimate the little steps that you make so if it's a savings goal every little bit counts um, so that could be something you're working on as well you've got the camel here this is yeah there's sort of a feeling of like I want to do this myself but you got the three of pentacles earlier as clarification I really think that like there could be a new way to go about something or or getting some help could like even if this for you just means getting some help around the house like with your significant other saying hey look I need some help with this because I really want to give more time to this hobby or I really want to you know get this thing done so that could be necessary as well in the fourth week you've got oh interesting yeah okay I think this could have to do with the love situation you've got chaser so someone you've been chasing or someone that's been chasing you you've got the hammer so there's sort of a feeling of like decisiveness um the hammer makes me think of like a decision okay um or something you're working on, something you've been consistent with. I don't know if that really fits into this situation. I mean, it could if this is talking about more of a goal, like a goal that you're chasing, but this could also have to do with love. You could be making a final decision in regards to uh, somebody with changing your mind. You've changed your mind uh, in regards to somebody. Uh, somebody could also kind of show you 
more of who they are and that could also change your mind as well there could be someone you thought you were interested in and then as you get to know them you're like Ooh. or vice versa right you could be you know at first you thought you weren't interested in someone and then suddenly now you're like you know what actually i kind of want to learn more either way the cards the love cards the romance angels are asking you to have faith in a certain situation um, with your main message of patience for the month ahead just be patient with the process right don't rush anything you don't have to have all of the decisions made all at once right now uh, work on you know work on things as they come i guess or deal with things as they come yeah overall the month looks pretty good again i'm seeing similar things to in your cards you've got some new experiences here or some new ways of doing things possibly lots about computer or scheduling on a computer you might actually be switching to scheduling on a computer or something like that that might be a better way of doing things maybe you're finding like a new program or a new app or something that helps you get organized or helps you work on something the love messages seem focused to to week one for whatever reason week two seems the most productive again the dates uh june 11th the 9th the 2nd and the 29th hmm compliments from an admirer i would expect that was like the first week i mean it could happen later but yeah very cool okay let's do your letters and your pendulum and then that'll be good for today let me know if this made sense okay so i'm gonna flip these over and look at the comments there's always really great suggestions I'll flip them over if you want to pause and see what you can see now go ahead or sorry let me just flip these and then you can pause okay I see so I see sin I see do we have an F because I'd see gift send see detail attention to detail could be helpful or you could have a very good attention to detail you could be working out the details of a situation that might help as well this reassessment could be about certain details i love that you have reassessment and changing your mind because there's something again there's a theme of like reassessing things and then making changes that's like a really heavy theme of your month whether it's relationship something with work schedule whatever it is You've got soon. You've got win. Got the name Dan. <laughs> Look for names too, initials. So yeah, look in the comments if you want to see more. There's always really great suggestions. People are really a lot better <laughs> than me at doing this. Okay, let's get your pendulum. You can ask a yes or no question. Pause if you want to think about it. got a maybe so things are still kind of getting figured out with whatever you're asking about so it's still a maybe so you can feel free to come back by the way if you like my videos feel free to come back and watch more by hitting that like and subscribe button uh the subscribe button actually more so and then the little bell um, to notify you when i post new videos thank you so much for spending your time with me today i really hope you enjoyed today's uh predictions and yeah come back later in the month for the july predictions and we'll see you if you time. chose fruit with achievement and success this is your messages for the month ahead super excited to dive in we're going to do charms letters numbers the pendulum we're going to go week by week with the charms as well but first let's get your cards and see what's going on you've got new career card okay 
So some sort of job change or new career or potential, like something you're starting that could turn into a career. You could already be switching jobs. Let's see. We'll get fully into this and see. Group two. Page of Swords. Lots of information flying at you in the month ahead. Okay. Some of you could be in school to change a career or thinking about going back to school or possibly doing research on some sort of new career or something, again, that you want to turn into a career one day. Group two. Protection. So create sacred space to keep uninvited energy out. So you're being very protective of your energy in the month ahead. Let's get you some tea leaf cards. This might sort of specify what you're being protective against. Oh, mm -hmm. this just came in and this is not to, uh, I know, I know what this is. I'll get to this in a second. Okay, this is not to like make you anxious or anything like that, but uh, I'm getting something about passwords protection. You could be kind of like uh, going through all of your online passwords and refreshing them. Not a bad idea to do once in a while, okay? So that could be something that's coming through. Again, I'm not getting that as like a warning, like change your passwords uh, right the second, but this could be something that you're doing as, is recessing with protection. And this, it just made me think of online passwords or, uh, you know, if you feel like someone you know, knows your password. Maybe it's time to refresh it or change it. Uh, you know, that, something like that. Again, more so as like upkeep and, you know, just a general good thing to, or routine to kind of get into every once in a while. So if you haven't done that recently, if you've been meaning to do that, I think this is the month to kind of go over your online protection and, uh, you know, take care of that just as a good kind of thing to keep up with. Okay. Group two. Two. What's going on for group two? Hand. In need of help, assistance, or guidance, you could be asking for some help or some more information. You seem to be very, I'm getting very hungry for information in the month ahead. Okay. Key. Successful outcome to your problems. Okay, I'm going to flip this over to show you. So someone is extremely stubborn and unwilling to change. So this could also be sort of who you're protecting your energy from. I feel like there could be a situation where you, you've been dealing with somebody who maybe you've been, like maybe you've been making certain changes, let's just say in a relationship, right? You've been making changes and trying to, you know, make well positive a positive difference you're making positive changes and maybe the person that you're married to or in a relationship with hasn't uh, don't let that stop you right like I, I feel like you're dealing with someone who's very stubborn or you could also be dealing with someone who's very stubborn about an idea or stubborn about something that the two of you just don't agree on and, and you're seeing like okay this person isn't willing to even see my side of things there could be a moment in June where you decide okay I'm just going to accept this person as they are, we don't agree on this and I want to move on from this, okay? So I feel like you're protecting your energy from a situation because you recognize, okay, this is one thing that I can't change about this person. They're not going to budge on this. We're not going to see eye to eye. So, you know, I know that this is this person's stance on this or I know that this is how this person does this or whatever this is about. I, I don't agree with it. I don't want to have this conversation with them or I don't. I'm not going to give this too much more of my energy, okay? So yeah, you seem to be very protective of your energy, of your peace. I'm getting your protective of your quiet uh, and your peace of mind in the month ahead. So we'll get to that. But yeah, there's a general feeling of like protection um, for yourself. Okay, group two. What's happening in love? Unrequited love, attraction, true love. All right. Okay, and on the bottom, let go of control issues. Okay, so there could be, and you know what, take take it what resonates, right? Not every message is going to resonate for everyone. This might be for someone else if it's not for you, but you know, I think, and we'll, we'll dive more into love. I just want to get the rest of your cards, but just quickly to look at this. You've got, this is a romance of a lifetime. 
You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully and unrequited love. So there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. So there's somebody where you feel like this is just not mutual. It doesn't mean, again, that they're not attracted to you or that they don't like you. But there's somebody that's like, you're just like, you know what? I'm not feeling this back from them and it's affecting my confidence or it's making me feel like, first of all, it's not... It has not, it's not a reflection on you, okay? So there's somebody that like, the two of you just might not be a match for whatever reason. The timing could be off. It could just be that the two of you are looking for different things or maybe you're not fully attracted to somebody uh, right now. That could always be what it is too. Um, so with let go of control issues on the bottom, I think maybe there's a connection. You're, you're really thinking, you know, this is it. This has to be the connection. But they're be open to other options is what I'm getting, okay? And for now, I think in the month of June, you're attracting a true love by just doing what it is that you love. Like, I feel like you're really living in the moment. I think there's somebody too from your past that you're kind of wanting to cut out of your life. <laughs> you're not wanting them in your life anymore because they don't make you feel good or it's not reciprocal like the energy you feel like you're always texting them first you feel like okay I'm always the one I'm always the one initiating contact you know I'm 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 because because sometimes with this you can kind of get obsessed it's like okay what am I doing it's it's like you're trying to change yourself you're trying to do all these things to kind of make this person you know uh, show the same you know the same energy or give the same energy back but it could just be that this person isn't right okay so um I think by moving on from this connection, whoever this is, whether it's someone from your past or someone where you're just like, okay, I thought at one point this felt like this could be something, but it's not anymore. Uh, there's someone, there's plenty of fish in the sea. I know you've heard that term a billion times, but there is. Uh, there, so, so there could be someone else coming into the picture here and it says you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So be in the moment. Uh, I'm getting to not try and kind of make one connection work if it's not feeling right, right? If it's not feeling right, then that's your sign to be open to what else could be. And I'll get more into that in just a second. But let's see what we have here so far. I actually want to get one more butterfly card as an alternative message, uh, just in case you are definitely not making any career changes. So take the next step now. Okay, so that could apply to whether or not this applies or not. This could be a message for you. Okay, so Group two, one thing I'm seeing you do a lot of in the month ahead is research, okay? I think you are craving information. I think you are absorbing information. I think you're learning something. You could be taking some sort of course or class or just really absorbing information like a sponge. I'm seeing you buy books and reading things and watching YouTube videos and possibly looking into courses or classes. But yeah, there's something you are so ready to dive into okay with take the next step now you're ready okay or it could be saying if there's something you've been wanting to do the information is out there okay so this is your sign if there's something you've been wanting to do but in the back of your head you're like oh I don't know it seems complicated the information is out there we live in a time where like we have access to so much information and resources and people and professionals that now in all in all of history now is the time to really seek out the information that you need. So I think you're taking the initiative with something or you're taking some sort of step forward to get information or possibly make contact with someone. So that brings us to this hand card. So in need of help, assistance, and guidance, there's something where somebody has the information because here I'm seeing all of these swords, you know, flying out of the screen here. This is, this represents information, ideas. So there's lots of, there's lots of information accessible to you. It's just a matter of like seeking it out. Okay, and you may need to ask some questions. So there's something I feel like you need to either send an email about, or ask a question, get clarification on, and this could open up a whole world of opportunities, possibly even a new career. So for example, if there's something you've been really wanting to do, even as a hobby that could eventually turn into a career, maybe that's your dream. Maybe it's something like starting a YouTube channel or getting into social media or something like that. I think, you know, now is a good time to kind of look it up it doesn't hurt to just seek out the information. It doesn't hurt to ask, okay? The other thing I'm getting to tell you is there's no stupid questions. Don't be shy. I think you're really going to have to, if you are shy, to make contact with people or ask questions or reach out and ask for help. This is going to be the month where you're really going to have to push yourself out of your comfort zone a little bit and seek out the information, make contacts. This is going to be a really great month to meet new people, I think, and make new contact with people, okay? So I think this is really important. Lean into that curiosity. 
I, this is coming through, I think, for a very clear reason, okay? So if you've been procrastinating something or feeling like, oh, I'd love to do this, but I don't know how or I don't know what to do with this, this is the month to seek out that information, okay, for sure. This is coming through very, very clearly, all right? And also, uh, this professional could help you sort out the information that you're getting, sort out what's true, what's not, what does work, what doesn't work. So I think also encouraging you to ask someone that's professional in what you're wondering about. So kind of not trusting every piece of information you get, being discerning about the information that's coming in could also be important with protection. So that's the other thing, right? That's the other side of the coin, right? So we have access to lots of information, but unfortunately, a lot of the information we have access to is not true or it's not, um, you know, it's not necessarily effective or helpful. Like, you know what I mean? So you really have to be discerning and possibly, you know, do, just do your research. I think is the best way to summarize that. Do your research, all right? Okay, so again, I was picking up on somebody that's unwilling to change and that's been holding you back or something, maybe a friend or a significant other. Somebody is like not willing to change or they've been stuck in the same kind of situation and they're unwilling to try a different method. So for you, I think you're moving on. You're taking the next step regardless of what this person's doing and you're seeking out the information. I think you're trying new things and new new ways in the month ahead. I think you are very open to new ideas and new ways and methods of doing things. So this is really good because I see a lot of growth for you. I see a lot of movement and again, possibly something leading to a new career. A lot of achievement, a lot of success. This is reminding me of something. One second. So I just thought of this. I wanted to go get it to show you uh, because this just made me think of this. I've got this little notebook with fruit on it. And I think writing things down could be really helpful. Making lists, getting organized with Page of Swords, organizing information. So I'm seeing you kind of making lists, making notes, making plans. Get yourself a notebook and just see what happens, okay? I'm getting to go to the store, get yourself a notebook, or maybe you have a pile of them like I do. It's one of those things I keep collecting, but I love writing things down or brainstorming, brain dumping, just kind of like writing down things or ideas. I think you're really, even now I'm looking to the side here and I see the queen of swords here. So yeah, I think you're sorting out information. We'll pick up a notebook and just see what happens. Okay. is the message I'm getting to tell you. All right. So let's see, create sacred space to keep uninvited energy out. You could also be being very protective of your home as well. All right. So I think you could be doing some things around the home, possibly like magical things as well. Uh, like the broom here, we see the broom. So that's like maybe you're doing like a cleansing of your space or something like that. But I see you actually quite protective of your space. I'm seeing you protective of your mind. It's almost like you're kind of creating a little bit of a bubble for yourself. You're not wanting to, I think you're, in, here's the thing group too. I think you're in problem solving mode. You're in proactive mode. You're wanting to make changes. So right now, a lot of negativity, a lot of like, oh, can't do that. Or I'll never figure this out. That's like <laughs> completely uh, not what you're wanting to be in right now. You're like, okay, let's figure out solutions. Let's seek out the information. Uh, I want to get organized. I'm seeing you get really organized as well in the month ahead. And this could be also too, like maybe you're living with someone that doesn't want to get organized. It's like, no, maybe you're creating a space. It's it's like, okay, that's fine if that's how you want to have your space. But this this room is mine. Don't put your things in my room or don't do this in my room. You know, that kind of thing could also be coming up. I might want to read achievement and success for you because you have the word success twice. You've got successful outcome to your problems and achievement and success. So here's the thing. I think you're seeking out information in the month ahead and you're finding it. You're finding the information that's necessary, the information that's going to help you. I'm also seeing you reaching goals in uh, the month of June. But here's the thing I want to be specific about. I think it's like mini goals. Okay. So I think you're having a lot of like mini successes. Cause I also think you're breaking things down into like mini tasks. Seems to be a bit of collective energy today about like how we manage our day-to-day -day routine. Group one had a lot about like reassessing routines and schedules, things like that. Uh, because they had like two of pentacles as their main energy, which was like feeling overwhelmed, a lot to juggle. Yours is a little bit different. Uh, but I still think that you are getting yourself organized or getting routines and schedules organized. I want to read you fruit here. You could be trying to include more fruit into your diet. I've been really loving uh, yogurt parfaits. So I take yogurt and strawberries and granola, sometimes raspberries, and I just 
layer it. It's super simple and it's been like my favorite thing lately. Okay, there's fruit. Okay, so producing something, a project, an object, a baby, takes time, energy, and attention. And sometimes work can be invisible to others, happening behind the scenes or internally. Okay, so that's saying a lot of the work that you're doing, a lot of the steps that you're, you're taking might not be obvious to other people right now, but that's okay. I think you're doing these things. Actually, I think you're quite private in the month. I think you're not really wanting to tell everyone what you're doing. I think you're in research mode or you're in the first beginning steps of things. So that's not really the time to tell people too much anyways, because the other thing with protection is you might get opinions that aren't really helping you right now. Um, so I think you're being very careful about who you share this with. And I think you're kind of keeping it to people that know what they're talking about in certain situations. Okay, so yeah, sometimes work can be invisible to others happening behind the scenes or internally. The fruit of that labor, however, is proof that energy was invested. Recognize and honor it. So it's important for you uh, in the month ahead to recognize small steps. I think I was just kind of saying something along those lines, but recognize the small little successes that you make because you're making steps. Even if it's not like, even if the big picture, you know, isn't complete or you feel like you're not really where you want to be, because I do think you're at the beginning of something that's okay because the fact that you've started something or the fact that you are making steps or making progress is huge okay so just stay consistent fruit also tells you that if you catch your breath for a bit celebrates oh okay fruit also tells you that you can catch your breath for a bit celebrate your success so here's the thing whenever you're learning something you oftentimes will see the changes after you've taken a bit of a breath so when i was learning ukulele i like would be in the class, I'd be all frustrated because I'm like, oh, I'm not getting this. And then when I would go back to my next class, suddenly I'd have it. So sometimes actually taking a step back and then coming back to it is important. So allow yourself some, you know, little breaks when working on it. Remember, <laughs> it's not about perfectionism right now. It's not about being perfect. It's about making progress and learning right now. For you, that's like your main energy of the month with Page of Swords, okay? Let's get any more information we need to know possibly about this problem and then we'll dive back into love three of wands for uh, a clarification for this key so three of wands i think there's more solutions available now this could be what it is too or you're discovering what's available to you all right so things are starting to change i think you're starting to see promising results of something or you're or even it could be something you start in the month ahead that you kind of catch on too quickly, okay? Things start moving a little faster than you think. Or you start to like something. You start to really like the changes that are happening and you're like, you know what? I want to keep going with this. I really want to dive deeper into this. Again, you could be making some career changes in the month ahead. You could be starting a new job. If you need help with this job or if there's a question you have, definitely ask for it, especially if you're new. If it's a, if it's a completely new job, I started a new job and I felt like really nervous to start because I'm like, oh, I don't know anyone and I haven't worked outside the house in a while and I was kind of like nervous, but you do, you catch on. It just takes some time. So don't be too hard on yourself. Uh, if you're starting a new job and it's not comfortable yet, you will learn. You'll get into your, you'll get back into the, into the groove. I think you're too just getting your confidence with something. I think there's something you're just starting to get confidence with or build your confidence with. Okay. So keep that in mind. Uh, there could be a message coming through in regards to career, all right, or a message, some information coming in, some new information. I feel like this image really makes me think information's flying at you in the month. I think there's a lot to absorb, so be patient with yourself. Lots of information, lots of messages flying at you. Yeah, I'm getting that password message again, so it could be time to just take care of that. I'm seeing you getting paperwork and things uh, organized as well. See what else here. Uh, I'm getting a possible creative solution to a problem coming in. Whatever this is, it feels like creative in nature. Yeah, again, it might be a good time to be more protective of your information or you're protective of like what you share and with who. Protective of like who you let into your space. Not everyone needs to know everything is what I'm getting to tell you. Not everyone needs to know everything that you're doing, right? Take the next step now. Yeah, it's really encouraging you to take a step, to take a step with something, like a baby step, a beginning step with something. 
because this could lead to a lot of achievement and success. And again, recognize the small uh, achievements as well. So I just want to get a bit more about love here. I also think for some of you, there could be something you're doing that you're so like it's something you you really love or something that you're really enjoying and that is like that in itself is is attractive right so, because you're like I think you're investing a lot into yourself or your own interests so I, I feel like someone's taking notice of that I think you're also protect like you're protecting yourself against anyone that's not going to invest as much as you are or or invest the same amount of energy. I also think here there could be a discussion with somebody who is giving mixed messages or like ghosting you or something like that where you're having to have a very direct conversation. Probably it seems like online or the internet seems to be part of it but either way it seems like there's a very direct conversation happening and uh, again I feel like you're not wanting to waste your time with this person or with somebody from your past that isn't giving that mutual energy and I think you'd rather not waste your time with them because you'd rather find your true love. So I'm just going to get one more card to clarify this love situation. What's happening in love? Knight of Pentacles. So sparkle stars. Pretty edible foil stars. Decorative and elegant base. Ooh, delicious. Okay, so uh, Knight of... Oh, Knight of Wands. Pardon me. I said Pentacles. Knight of Wands. So sparkle stars. Okay, so this... Okay, that's interesting. Oh, wow. Okay. I think that somebody was all like, it was all about, okay. I feel like there was a lack of like real emotion underneath. And I think there was a lot of attraction, like instant attraction. But I think as you got deeper with someone, you realized, okay, this is kind of like, like this person doesn't seem very committed. Uh, we're looking for different things. That could be literally what it is. Okay. Cause the Knight of Wands, I will say, isn't the most isn't known for being the most committed. They're very exciting, uh, but they're a little bit more impulsive. <laughs> it's there. It's usually not the best sign in a love reading. Okay, when you see that Knight of Wands again, they can be exciting, fun to be around. They are, uh, you know, oftentimes very funny and charismatic and passionate and exciting, and they'll push you out of your comfort zone. But a lot of times, it's not the card of like commitment or long term relationships. So I think that's maybe who you were dealing with. It doesn't mean that they weren't attracted to you. In fact, I see with attraction, Knight of Wands, I actually think that they were uh, sparkle stars. I think they were attracted to you, but it, it doesn't seem to have enough substance to it. Chemistry, possibly. Like, there's not enough. I don't even know if it's the chemistry, though, because I actually think you guys did have chemistry. I think it's, I think there's something deeper here. I think you're seeing something or a situation like you're seeing that this person might not be your true love or this is what you prefer to have is true love. So that could be what's going on. This could also just actually as a second message, this could just be an indication of what you're kind of looking for is sort of an intense physical attraction could be really important to you right now. Uh, you know, an intense chemistry. So, so there could be that you were dealing with someone where you didn't really have that intense physical chemistry with. And it's not about looks always. It's about, okay, I'm just so attracted to this person. Uh, you know, I just want to be near them and I, I just find them so attractive and interesting. So that could be sort of what you're craving. Let's get one more card. Two of Swords. Okay, so, oh, okay, interesting. You could be deciding between... Like you could be feeling indecisive about somebody, okay? So there could be some indecision in regards to two people possibly. There could be someone, for example, I mean, this is, could be so many situations. This could be an entire reading in itself. But just to kind of summarize, this could be you deciding between two people. One person you have like a strong, intense attraction to. The other person maybe you get along with and it's, you know, you have a great time with, but you don't feel uh, that attraction or you don't feel like it, uh, you know, has enough of that sparkle right with this uh sparkle stars card you don't feel like that enough of that sparkle so you could be making some decisions in regards to what's important to you in a relationship because maybe right now that physical attraction or that intense kind of reaction to someone isn't the most important thing to you maybe you're looking for something uh it kind of always depends on too like what you're coming out of too i think it's complicated but maybe right now what you want is someone you can really get along with you have similar interests something like that so yeah, I think you're kind of deciding what it is that you want. You seem kind of indecisive with Two of Swords here. So yeah, very interesting. 
All right, so let's move on here and look at the week by week prediction. A little closer here, so maybe you can see a little bit better. Okay, group two, let's do your charm. Okay. Interesting, you've got two hands because you're wind card had a hand so you've got the hand in week one so it's saying like right right at the beginning of the month now is a good time to reach out for that that help or uh, that information that you need okay so the hand is reaching out for information in need of help assistance or guidance okay so there's something it's saying like like look it up like ask around uh, there's some information that is available to you that it's just saying please please ask Okay, you've got Gemini and Aquarius here. You've got money here. This could be about money. You could have some questions about money, a savings goal, a career goal, possibly. You've got the little star here. This is a really good sign because this is a sign of a situation becoming more peaceful, a healing in a situation. You've got the rabbit here. This is about rapid abundance and growth. Okay, you've got the dragon. This really goes into your protection message, I think. I think you're being very protective. I keep getting very protective of your home. I don't know if you're working on security around the home. That could be kind of a literal interpretation of this. Okay, so it could be that maybe you're looking into different security around the home, right? Maybe you're getting one of those cameras or maybe uh, getting those lights that turn on automatically. I, I don't really know, but it, you do seem kind of protective of your space. And this could be more inside too, like having a room that's just yours or locking up a cabinet that has personal information or something like that. Uh, could be important. Okay. Okay. You've got Aquarius and Gemini. I just got something about a purse being protective of your purse. I don't know why that came in, but be protective of your purse. You've got the chrysalis here. Uh, with the star on the other side. So chrysalis is like, of course, giving yourself time um, to transform, to make changes. This is a process, which is what we were getting earlier. You've got the shell here. This can be about like intuition. It's a spiral. So it could mean I was getting something about you getting out of some sort of pattern or habit. So you could be also breaking certain habits as well. But yeah, the money and the rabbit are a really good sign in the first week for abundance and opportunity, possibly something like a new uh, career that you're researching or applying for now is a good week to apply for, or a good month sorry to apply for different jobs even if you think okay you know what someone else might be more qualified give it a shot you never know right uh, make connections it, it's going to be beneficial to you to push through any shyness okay is what i'm getting into the second week we've got the octopus and the frog a uh, situation isn't as it appears with the frog prints here something that maybe appears one way could transform we've got lots about transforming the hand again though look got the two hands so first and second week this is the month or the weeks to ask for assistance uh make new connections there could be an offer for you an, a job offer possibly with the new career card you've got ace of swords here so clarity i love that too with this light bulb in the fourth week so clarity solutions ideas uh, communication, clear communication, cutting through any confusion. You've got music here. It's really cool. So harmony. I'm seeing lots of harmony in relationships as well. It could be that this stubborn person maybe is you're having a bit of a breakthrough with them possibly. I think more so what I was getting earlier is that you might just have to do something anyways, even if this person isn't joining you. Okay. But it could be that they're ha that you're having an impact on them or having a breakthrough. You've got the birthday candle. There could be a birthday in the third week that you're celebrating. This could be about a wish, a wish coming true in the third week. You've got communication coming in in the third week that seems very significant, an important phone call. This could be the new career card. Uh, this could be encouraging you to communicate with someone in the third week. You've got uh, lots of stars, star, star, star. You've got like so many stars. So stars can represent healing, hope, uh, inspiration, ideas. Uh, creativity, being able to kind of take an idea and bring it. So maybe there's an idea that you have that just feels like, oh, I don't know how I, how I would ever do that. This is the month to find out. Okay, this is your push. This is the month to seek out the information. The lemon, when life gives you lemons, you make lemonade, you're making the best out of a situation in the third week. This could also talk about cleaning, fresh energy, cleansing. Fourth week, you've got that light bulb. So ideas, this could be ideas in relation to money or spending or ways to make money. You've got also the caution thing. So it could be telling you to be cautious with your money as well. Um, be aware 
of your spending in the fourth week for some reason. Okay, so sometimes we don't really know what the message means until that week happens, but possibly uh, just be telling you to be kind of cautious or aware of something to do with spending or money. And there could be new solutions in regards to this as well, or new ideas. Uh, this also tells us to pay attention to signs, pay attention to our surroundings, be aware, be cautious. Okay, so it's just in general, be cautious. This could also have to do with the protection. There could be something you need to be cautious of or just careful to protect yourself in the fourth week as well. Uh, but yeah, lots of clarity, ideas, lots of Ace of Swords energy on the board today. So that's really cool. Let's get you some numbers. These could be dates or important angel numbers. Okay, you've got the 1st, the 7th, the 17th, the 9th, and went off. I don't remember, uh, I don't, I was just talking about the numbers here. So you've got the 1st, the 17th, the 9th, the 19th, and the 7th. I'm going to read you 17. Let's read you 17. Aspire. Oh, think bigger. So your angels encourage you to speak your wants and dreams aloud to the universe. Get creative with what you want and see it happening in great detail. So I think you do have an intention to detail in the month ahead or you're seeking out like this is something you're paying attention to is detail. It could be telling you to get detailed about what you want, get detailed about your plans and goals. Visualize an experience in which you receive something you always wanted. Feel thankful for it as if it has already happened. Okay, so it's telling you to kind of like think big in as far as your plans and your ideas. I think you're expanding information. I think you're expanding on education possibly yeah you, you seem to be seeking more you're interested in more you're curious you're so curious in the month okay let's get you your letters and then I have to do your pendulum and then I have to go to work and then I'll have to do group three later so I'm really happy that I got here's another thing okay then don't underestimate the time that you have I think you're making the best use of your time too because ordinarily if I'm honest I wouldn't have started a reading if I only had time to do a couple groups but I'm really having to get more um more creative with my time and less like because sometimes if I have something if I have an appointment at two for example that whole morning for me for whatever reason is just non-productive I don't know why I think somewhere in the back of my head I think oh I can't get into that project or I can't start that I have to leave in four hours I'm trying to push through that so that could also be something that you're working on So time management could be something coming in for you, okay? Or new ways of new ways of managing time, possibly. Okay, you've got sweet and saw. You've also got beauty. I think with the attraction card, do we have the attraction? Yeah, I think you're doing things that make you feel attractive just because they make you feel attractive. Not for anyone else, but whether that's your hair, uh, like for me, it's lashes. I always have my lashes on. I do them myself. Uh, but I, that's my thing is my lashes. I love having my, even my mom said, she goes, Liz, she goes, you always have your lashes on. That's like your thing. eh?" I'm like, yes, I enjoy my lashes and I don't do it for anyone else. I do it because it makes me feel really good. It makes me feel confident and that's, that's it. So I think you could be doing things that make you feel attractive, not for anyone else, but just for you. Okay. So if you need to pause, definitely do so. If you want to look at the letters, but I'm going to get in there and see what I can see. Okay, I see so. Okay, could be getting into sewing or researching sewing. I see renew. I see... real hmm. new new ways of doing things new approaches to things new information look for names too <laughs> homer simpson doe I don't know. Like I said, I'm not the best at finding words. Um, although sometimes I think I have a word that doesn't make sense. Like the other, the last reading, 
I was like, oh, sperm. I'm like, I don't know why I see that, but it actually resonated for a few people. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> I always see things that I think like are so random, but yeah, maybe not. Maybe they're not random. Okay. Um, a new lean, uh, Again, if you need to pause it, feel free. Wash, car wash, washing something in the house. Uh, maybe that's part of protection. Maybe you're doing some sort of like ritual or something uh, in the house, like uh, washing like your floors or something. It's making me think of like the broom sweeping out old energy. So that's what I see there. But yeah, feel free to pause and take more time with it. We're going to move on to your pendulum. Let me just go like this. Whoa. <laughs> there we go. Okay, let's get your pendulum and then that will be good. And thank you so much, by the way. Uh, if you haven't already, consider liking, liking and subscribing. Uh, that really helps my channel. You can also check out my Patreon linked below if you like my readings. I upload every single week. Oh, interesting. Try again. Got a no for right now for that question. So yeah, let me know what you think, group two. I hope you have a wonderful month ahead. Come back uh, during the month for your July predictions and other readings as well. So I hope you have a great day. We'll see you next time. If you chose the preserve card with security, forethought, and thrift, then this is your message. I want to say one thing. I think you might find something that you've been missing because I, ooh, one of these cards just popped out here. Um, yeah, I was shuffling and I dropped a bunch of cards and then under my desk, I found that ring. So you could find something that you've misplaced, something you didn't even realize was missing. It could be one of those situations where you're like, oh, there it is. Okay. Eight of Wands is your card of the month with the sun on the bottom. So lots of energy, lots of movement. Mm, your order is here. Oh, my stomach's very gurgly. It's making lots of sounds, so I apologize in advance. Okay, group three, what is happening? Religion and spirituality is a change taking place and spiritual growth. Okay, so there's lots of spiritual growth because you've got the two spiritual change cards. So this is like a major change happening or a major shift happening. Uh, you could be going through some changes yourself or uh, some changes in your within your spirituality. Motivation. Very cool. It could be encouraging you to... to uh, maybe dive in more to your spirituality. Door. Opportunities are waiting for you. Group three. What is going on? Cup. You should accept valid criticism. The bear. Oh, that bear keeps showing up. And bridge. Successfully overcoming a problem. Okay, let's see here. Oh, we've got to get we've got to get more here. I've got uh, this romance. We'll get your romance messages, and then we'll fully dive in here. Group three. What's happening in the month ahead? Express your love. Deception. Retreat. Okay. Somebody's hiding their feelings. They're having a hard time expressing feelings. They do better. Um, Ah, there's, yeah, I'll have, to, I'll have to dive into that in just a second, but let me just look at your overall energy. So your card of the month is the Eight of Wands, okay? So there's lots of action, lots of movement, lots of change, swift change, sudden change, all at once change. It's, it's, it's a lot, okay? It's a lot of energy. It's exciting, though. It can be very exciting. Uh, for you, this could be something arriving. It says your order is here. I'm wondering, too, there's sort of a feeling of, like, something is happening very conveniently in the month ahead. I, I'm not sure what it is, but something's happening quite conveniently. 
or you're finding something convenient, something might happen that's like a little easier or more, what's the word I'm looking for? I was going to say like faster than you thought or like efficient. Like there's something that's happening that's like, oh, okay, that wasn't so, that didn't take as long as I thought or that was easier than I thought, something like that, okay? But let me see here. Hmm. Okay, I just want to put these aside because we're going to dive into love <laughs> separately here. Okay, so you've got, okay, let's just talk about the bear. <laughs> this bear comes out a lot in readings. We just saw the bear in a recent reading. So danger, especially in money matters. First of all, don't let an online reading panic you, okay? This is something where it's just telling you to be very cautious, okay? It's telling you to be cautious when it comes to money. And we do see that here in the preserve card, okay? So I think it could be that in the month ahead, you're really getting serious about something to do with, with spending is what's coming through, okay? You're really taking something very seriously. I think you could possibly be uh, looking into spending, uh, saving, sorry, or just being, because you've got thrift here. So it's almost like you're just, you're just kind of, I think you're having a bit of a mindset shift when it comes to money in a certain way. What could, what it could be is you could be noticing, even with this image, right? You could be noticing how much extra money you're spending because of convenience or something like that. All right. So that's what I'm getting. There could be like extra money being spent, you know, in apps and things like that. But I think you're just getting very serious about a money matter. Okay. Uh, and this isn't a bad thing because I think you're being proactive. You, you, you feel like it feels very motivated here. You feel very motivated during the month. So I think you've gotten, I don't know with this cup card, if you've received some, you know, it says valid criticism. Okay. So this isn't just criticism for the sake of being mean. I think you're, and this for some reason keeps coming up, I think three different readings. I don't know if it's just been on YouTube, but on Patreon, we keep getting messages about like receiving advice and then, or like constructive criticism and then kind of taking that advice. So you should accept valid criticism. Someone could give you some advice that's just enough that it seems to be motivating you. It feels like a bit of like, I don't know if it's like a reality check necessarily, but it just seems to be giving you this like boost of motivation and a feeling of, of wanting to make changes, wanting to get things moving, wanting to um, getting, yeah, you're getting things going. You're getting things moving. I think you're getting a push, like a gentle push to get something going or get something moving. Not really sure what it is. Uh, but yeah, you seem to be getting this like boost of energy or burst of energy. And I think this is really good because this motivation is helping you overcome a problem successfully. This is a good thing too, because this is telling you that there's a solution to a certain problem that you may encounter. Okay. So if there's a problem that pops up, you have what you need to successfully overcome it okay and there was something coming in earlier about something being a little bit more convenient than you thought so there could actually be a convenient solution to a problem that you've encountered okay so I wouldn't worry too much about that okay well we can ask for clarification in regards to that too I just want to kind of look at the overall energy but yeah you you seem very very motivated very energized to get things done it could be that you have a lot you want to do in the month ahead and you're starting the month off right right away just with this boost of, of energy. It says motivation kindles the passion and energy needed in working towards your goal. So yeah, you've got some sort of work or goal you're working towards. And uh, yeah, I think you're just ready. You're ready to get something going. You're ready to get something moving. So that's really good. I might read preserve to you. Opportunities are waiting for you. I think, oh wow, okay. I just got the Ferris Bueller quote with this eight of wands and this one, life's, life moves pretty fast. If you don't stop and look around for a while, you could miss it. So there could be an opportunity that you notice while things are changing very fast. You could notice some sort of opportunity, uh, you know, that you decide to take, right? This, this could definitely be what it is. Let's read preserve and kind of see what else this says. You could be getting into uh, preserving or making things ahead getting something about freezer meals maybe you're getting a like trying to get more organized with like making meals ahead of time you could be uh, creating some sort of savings goal the theme of this card to me is doing things now while you have like an abundance for your future self okay so this could also be a good sign that you've got you know 
uh, a windfall coming in or you've got an excess of something coming in that it would be wise to save for later okay so this i think yeah i think this and you do again you seem so motivated it could be that you're trying to get these things done it could be that the month ahead for you is just full of energy and you're thinking okay i want to get all these things done now so that i can relax a little bit later you know in the in the next few months that kind of thing okay so how can you work to store and secure what you have successfully produced Okay, in green witchcraft, preserving a harvest allows you to keep it longer instead of losing it to decay or waste. Okay, so you could also be paying attention to waste, how much you're wasting. Okay, I think that's something we all kind of have to reflect on every now and then. I know I do. So paying attention to waste, whether it's something like food or money, I think it could be something like that. Uh, you know, you'll have to kind of see how this fits in with you, right? These are uh, general readings, but yeah, so... Instead of losing it to decay or waste, it's a thrifty measure that enables you to rely on the fruits of your labor for an extended period of time. So yeah, you really seem to be thinking ahead in the month to come. You seem to be thinking ahead. You know what I'll say about this bear is I feel like you're solving problems before they happen, right? Because of the bridge here. It's like, okay, I know what I need to do in this situation. It also could be too that maybe you have something coming up in the next few months that you're really getting serious about in the month of June so that you can plan ahead, okay? So another form of preserving is to put aside a little of what you use every time you use it. This helps build a stockpile to guard against future need. This process is an ongoing low-level investment that doesn't take much time or energy. The preserve card reminds you that small gestures accumulate over time. Keep an eye out for areas where you can be thrifty with your time and energy. So this isn't just about money, it's about energy as well. This doesn't mean you have to deprive yourself now. Enjoy your harvest, just don't use it all at once or simply because it's there. I think this is what this bear card is talking about because I do sense some sort of windfall or harvest, okay? You've, you're going to possibly get a little extra in the month ahead. It's it's The cards are just cautioning you to be wise because there could be the temptation or the urge to kind of splurge <laughs> and use it all at once all right so it's it's asking you to kind of think ahead here uh, and I'm, I'm kind of getting just be because even just look at this uber it's really jumping out to me here like yeah there's something about conveniences coming through but yeah I mean this seems to be where your head is really focused right now you could be thinking of clever or creative ways to use what you have as well in the month ahead i think too you seem very with going into religion and spirituality spiritual growth you seem very aware i think of of waste things like waste the environment possibly you're very in tune to that all right so that could be partially what's causing this is i feel like you're this this could just be part of the spiritual growth card all right is is using what you have uh being you know, a steward to this planet, trying to take care of the planet in whatever way you can, make a difference in, in certain ways that you can. So yeah, I think this is definitely on your mind uh, in the month ahead. Let's get some clarification. What is this criticism about? So it says valid criticism. So it seems like constructive criticism. It seems to me like it's being delivered in a very caring way. All right. So I don't think that this is going to be mean spirited or rude or anything like that. Okay, group three, what is this criticism about? Knight of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles. Okay, it's <laughs> possibly money, okay? Someone's noticed something. This could be a financial advisor, right? I'm not a financial professional by any means, so you know, seek out somebody who's qualified to answer these questions, of course, but there's somebody, and this could be someone in your life, this could be a parent or a family member, a friend who you know is very good with money, but a friend or a professional of some kind, maybe even a financial pr professional that you trust and watch in social media that you that you know is trustworthy or something like that. Somebody's giving you some criticism or some advice in regards possibly to savings or how to save money and it's saying you should accept it, okay? Because as clarifier, we have the Knight of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles. So this definitely feels financial or to do with resources, even time or energy, okay? It doesn't have to be specifically money. But I think someone's seeing you do something that it's like, okay, why why are you doing it that way? Or this is a better way to do it. This is more helpful. Like they're trying to help. I think they're they're looking out for you. This person's looking out for you. So yeah, Knight of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles. I think this person might be watching you do something 
that they view as hurting you in this situation, like they view it as a dangerous decision maybe or a dangerous like financial choice. So they're trying to, I think they're trying to, I really do feel like they're trying to help you or they're trying to instill some sort of habit or fresh start for you. Someone's trying to start fresh or help you start fresh. This seems almost like starting really uh, positive habits with something. This doesn't have to be, again, just finances. It could be work or something like that. But yeah, this criticism, this clarification, Knight of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles. So it does seem to, it's that Pentacles energy, okay? So whatever it is for you, someone's giving you some valid criticism. You know, sometimes that helps. Sometimes we get a little bit of a wake-up call from someone. I know that happens to me all the time. Like I'll be watching a financial video or... I've got one friend who's very, very, very smart with finances. And sometimes I'll just observe the things that she does or the things, you know, that she chooses to not spend money on or what she does choose to spend money on. And it really does, it motivates me. It, it inspires me. So you could also be being around people that are making really wise financial decisions. And this could, you could be even asking them a question. We've got the owl here, actually, which, which is making me think of advice. But yeah, you could be learning something in regards to that as well. All right, so let's see. One thing I want to say is there could be some travel coming up that has the potential to be a lot more expensive than you think, okay? So just keep that in mind. That could be why you're planning ahead. If you have a vacation coming up, July, August, September, I'm telling you now, I'm sensing it's going to be more expensive than you think, okay? Something coming up, I'm getting this clear as day. Something coming up is going to be more than you think. You've budgeted a certain amount, it's going to be more. I don't know if it's because of something unexpected. I don't know if it's just because... Maybe prices have gone up with something like they are with everything. Something is going to be more expensive than maybe you're anticipating. Okay, so yeah, you seem to be coming up with proactive solutions to things. You seem motivated to make changes. You seem motivated. I, I see you doing things in your kitchen too. You could be reorganizing your kitchen. Uh, even things like making it easier or cleaning the space to do your dishes sometimes, you know, can be helpful or like... I'm just seeing you get your kitchen space organized or really like, per it's almost like you're able to be more productive. There's a feeling of like productivity coming through for your month. But yeah, you seem very focused around the kitchen. You could be coming up with new recipes and things too. Oh, I've got to plug this in. But yeah, I'm seeing you. Oh, wow. Everything needs to be <laughs> plugged in here. Okay. Okay. Um, because that happened, there could be some maintenance Okay, that could be this unexpected kind of, I don't know if it's unexpected finance or financial situation, but it's just asking you to be ca cautious about something. So there could be some maintenance coming up that you're not expecting as well. Okay, let's see here. Let's look at spiritual growth for a second. I kind of want to know more about this situation. Okay, sorry, I wanted to get the little butterfly book. But yeah, group uh, three, I really like the eight of wands as your overall energy. It does... Okay, because this could be talking about the door, like sudden opportunities that you decide you want to take. Uh, it could be talking about sudden motivation that you're getting. Something's kind of like happening rapidly. It's happening somewhat quickly. Yeah, we don't read religion and spirituality. All right. Okay. So, of course, you know, it says here even spiritual study or teaching. That's kind of my feeling. I feel like you could be diving more into your spirituality in a certain way. It could be that you're buying yourself some new decks if you're into tarot or getting yourself a journal and doing some gratitude journaling or just journaling, researching, studying. Uh, spirituality might be something that you really dive into. I know it kind of, it can, it can kind of like, we can go through phases, right, where we're suddenly very interested in, in our spirituality or learning more. You could be making a spiritual change in the month that is more in line with, you know, what you, what's important to you. You could have a spiritual based business possibly, or you could work in uh, something spiritual. You could work at a, at a store, <laughs> uh, lots of different things, but it does seem like a focus for you. And I know for me, there are certain months of the year where I really like crave my decks and I want to read them and explore more and learn more. And then there's other months where I don't really pick them up as often. So this could just be a month where whatever this is for you, you're really wanting to dive in and it seems to be having a positive effect. Okay. All right. So your spiritual life is shifting because you're getting in touch with your honest beliefs. That could be what it is too. You're getting very in touch with what you really believe. What worked for you in the past doesn't ring true for you now. This may cause confusion within your family or within yourself. So yeah, maybe, maybe you're 
making some sort of change. Maybe you're paying attention to like how you feel about certain things. Maybe you are shifting your beliefs. There's nothing wrong with that, right? This is a journey. So, okay. It even says here, this is quite specific and, you know, it might not resonate for everyone, but your loved ones may worry about your spiritual safety as you venture into areas they don't understand. So, you know, you, you never know. You could have a family member. So say you're into tarot, you could have a family member that, you know, is has some concerns about that. Maybe the two of you can talk about it. Like there could be lots of different scenarios here. Uh, and it says it's not up to you to win your family's approval of your beliefs or choices. However, if you're following a, sp if however, if you're following a spiritual teacher, do use discernment for leaping in with full commitment. So yeah, definitely use your dis discernment in anything, in everything, including this money matter. Okay. Um. Yeah, and then it just goes on to say, make sure that you're happy and on a spiritual path that is aligned with your sincere beliefs. So that's what's most important. With anything, you need to make sure it makes sense to you. Always listen to your own intuition, your own... Listen to yourself first before anyone else, okay? That's really important. Um, so, and then some examples here. Uh, you could be returning to a childhood religious path. You could be making some shifts in your own religion. I'm really thinking this has to do with spiritual study or teaching. Uh, I'm also... I feel like I said earlier, I feel like you're very in tune with the environment, with nature. Like, you seem very connected to nature right now. I feel like you want to be outside more. Possibly I'm seeing you in a garden, but you seem very in tune with nature, animals, things like that, okay? So I think that that plays some sort of role for you. Uh, let me see. Yeah, I'm feeling here with motivation, eight of wands, and the financial messages we're getting. You seem like there's this sense of urgency, not panic, but urgency. Okay, I want to take care of this now. Uh, you might be being hard on yourself about something that you wish you had done in the past. We can't go back and change it, but you can start today. If there's like certain habits you want to start or something you want to make a change with, something you're motivated to change, you know, that's okay. Start today. Start today if it's something that you think would be good for you. But yeah, you're coming up with solutions. You're overcoming different problems in the month ahead. Coming up with practical solutions. You're thinking ahead with lots of things. You're thinking far ahead in advance. I think planning ahead is good advice for the month ahead. I keep getting that something's going to be more expensive, a vacation specifically. Uh, or, or okay, on the other side of that, there could be an unexpected opportunity that comes up where you're going to be really happy that you kind of set aside a little bit for. Because I do think that this is a month of harvest for you with something. There could be a windfall. There could be a little bit of extra, more than you expected on a check or some sort of, you know, surprise bonus money of some kind. So it, it's encouraging you to... Be thoughtful with it, okay? Be very thoughtful with it. Okay, so let's look at love a little bit, and then we'll move on to weekly predictions. There could be changes within a romantic relationship because of spirituality as well. Like, you know, uh, you could be being true to yourself with a, with a spiritual situation, and maybe your partner doesn't understand your spiritual beliefs or something like that. Like, really, again, this kind of goes into... Take what messages resonate for you and feel right for you. Don't try to force the message. But uh, yeah. Okay, so in love, you've got express your love, deception, and retreat. I do want to kind of dive in a little bit deeper into this because you've got express your love. It says go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Deception could just represent that someone's not being their true selves or someone's not open, opening up fully. Uh, with these two in combination, I'm thinking that somebody has a hard time opening up. Somebody might, because this doesn't necessarily have to be something so, you know, horrible as like lying to you about something. It could just be that someone's just, like I read these intuitively, so it could just be uh, that somebody is having a hard time opening up. They're hiding parts of themselves. Uh, so they could be being honest, some quiet time together to kind of talk could be really important. So it says it's time to disconnect from the world, getting something about pressure. Someone's feeling a lot of pressure with something. Uh, and of course it could be, this is the reality of it. It could be that someone is being deceptive. Someone is lying. I hope that's not the case, but it could be someone is, uh, not being completely honest about something about who they are or, uh, honest about something so express your love express your feelings there could be an honest conversation like a one-on-one -on -one conversation uh, that might help let's get some clarification though group three what's going on here you could also be lying to someone about your feelings someone could be hiding their feelings for you certainly group three clarification for this love situation please what's happening with this situation queen of cups yeah i would 
I uh, just saw nine of wands too. Sort of like a feeling of, there's a feeling of someone has their walls up, their guard up with something. Ten of cups, bite-sized ring. Okay, so someone, bite-sized is making me think someone takes a long time to open up. They take a long time. They just do it a little bit at a time. So you could feel like someone's being deceptive because they're not being as upfront as what you're used to. Maybe you're used to people pouring their heart out or telling you everything about them. Um, this queen of swords keeps catching my eye today. You know, again, use your discernment, just like the spirituality card was talking about. Use your discernment um, in this conversation that I think is coming up. But I, I think <laughs> this also could be secret crush messages with express your love and deception. Someone could have been hiding feelings for you for quite some time. With bite-sized ring donut, it's making me think someone's like trying to drop little clues at a time. Three of cups, it could be a friend. Nine of cups. I, I, feel, I feel like for a lot of you, this could be secret feelings. Of course, that won't apply to everyone, but it could be you that has the secret feelings. I do think some time just for the two of you could be beneficial. Someone, if you're in a relationship, your partner, uh, the two of you could have a vacation coming up and this might be a good time to really open up about feelings, really talk about certain feelings. Someone could have said they felt some something about something or they felt one way about something and they actually weren't being honest. Someone could have said like, oh, I, that's okay. That doesn't bother me. And it really did bother them. Like someone's just not fully expressing something or they're hiding it. They're, they're trying to pretend they're feeling one way about something, but it's really not true. I'm getting someone was disappointed about something and they didn't let their full, their full, they, and I'm getting someone was disappointed about something and they didn't fully communicate that. Four of swords. Okay. So someone might have had time to think about something or had a little bit of time to themselves. I think you're dealing with somebody or you're somebody who needs time to sort out their thoughts and their ideas and what they want to say before they can communicate. So you know, it could be the situation where, oh, I wish I had said that. Like you let, you need some time to absorb what's happened or they do before they can talk about it. So that could also be what's happening. Um, you could find somebody was hiding something or really wants to open up or express something to you um, after they've given it some thought or had a bit of a time out essentially. So that's what I'm getting with love this month. But overall, it looks good. I, I, I mean, it could be that someone else is feeling the urge to make some sort of romantic gesture or open up a little bit. Uh, you could be seeing different sides of somebody else as well that you haven't seen before. I'm getting something about too many people being in your business or, so, or, or a certain relationship. Like too many people are involved in it. So it's time to disconnect. If that's the case, I wouldn't share too much on social media in regards to whatever the situation is. I would kind of unplug. Sometimes, like, I'll see people post it. You know, it's their prerogative to post whatever they want. But sometimes I'll see people post things on social media about their personal lives where I'm like, oh, my gosh. Like, that's just never been my style. I mean, I'm just such a private person. But, like, it was hard to even kind of share um, <laughs> about my breakup and moving. Like, that was hard. But, you know, so. But, but then you have people that are open books and they share absolutely everything about their lives. But, no, you know, not everyone is there cheering for you unfortunately or some people are just curious unfortunately as well like it's not so I would be a little bit more private if that if this applies to you about some sort of romantic situation or there's someone there could be someone in your life that needs to be a little bit more private about something okay let's look at charms for each week let me just get this Okay, if someone is opening up about feelings, I see it happening in the third week. Let me just zoom in here for you. I did this for group two, so you see everything? I'll move these up as well. Okay, all right, and let's get you some important dates and numbers. Okay, so the 7th, the 3rd, the 9th, and the 12th could be important. I'm going to read number... 129. I just choose intuitively. Peaceful room. Create a sacred space in your home. Okay, this goes into the spirituality message. I think this could be what it is. 
and the retreat message. So the outside world can distract you. So stay on track. You must create a space within. So to stay on track, you must create a space within. Use a corner of a room, a bathroom, or a spot in your garden. I saw you in a garden earlier to create a place for meditation, prayer, and contemplation. So this is your spirituality message, I think, uh, kind of being wrapped up here. This is like it telling you you need some space for this, whether it's meditation, yoga, whether it's uh, reading your cards. Do you have a space to do it or are you just doing it? I mean, wherever you feel comfortable doing it, but do you have a, a special space? Maybe you're creating an altar. Maybe you are making a special area of your garden. I keep seeing you in a garden for some reason. So maybe there's a certain garden you go to. Uh, maybe a bathroom, like having a nice bath or something. Making your bathroom like nice and clean so you can enjoy a nice calm bath. Uh, I think you need some more private time, some more time to yourself to either study your spirituality or practice your spirituality. Um, so, yeah. All right. So first week of the month, you've got Capricorn energy and Pisces energy. This could be who you're receiving the valid criticism from because you've got more owls here. OK, so this kind of connects to this as well. But you've got these owls. This is three of pentacles energy to me. It makes me think of teamwork, putting our heads together to really think about solutions. I think someone very wise is giving you advice. Again, this person isn't trying to embarrass you. They're not trying to criticize you to be rude, but they're seeing you struggle with something and they want to offer a suggestion. So it doesn't mean you have to take it, but be open to this person's advice because it says it's valid on the card. It says it's valid. All right. Uh, successfully overcoming a problem, I think is probably happening in this first week with this horse jumping over the horseshoe. This is about overcoming some sort of obstacle. You've got the unicorn here too. This is about uniqueness and rare opportunities possibly you've got the handcuffs this is like devil energy it could mean that you feel like this could be talking about the bear card you feel trapped in a certain situation so this could be the problem you're overcoming uh, it could be you know something about codependency or something like that coming up you've got the world here this could be an indication that this is the week where you're traveling possibly uh, this is also about a successful completion to something. So I like that with your one card about successfully overcoming a problem. Because if that's the case, that means it's happening early in the month. Okay, and that too could be giving you motivation as well. But yeah, you seem so motivated to make changes. You've got the star with the little anchor here. To me, that's like... I'm getting like you're anchored to a specific goal or dream. You're anchored to it. A tantalizing prospect will come your way between the first and the second week of June. That's really exciting. More Eight of Wands energy. That's a strong energy. Excitement, movement, change. A sense of something happening rapidly, suddenly. It's very exciting too, okay? So the undertone of that card is excitement. Sometimes it can be overwhelming, but it's overall exciting. But yeah, there's that sense of urgency to something. Thumbs up, somebody liking your picture or giving you lots of likes with something. This could also just be encouragement. You're doing a good job with something. You've got heads up. So this is a message to pay attention in the second week. You're receiving a message in the second week. Some sort of communication is coming in. This could be the love communication or something that needs to get talked about. You have the ram here. Okay, so that could have... Any of these, by the way, could have personal significance to you as well. So take what resonates. Um, you could be feeling very stubborn with something in the second week, all right? So this could be the week to absorb the information that's coming to you or pay attention, heads up. It's like someone's wanting you to pay attention to some something, even with the bear card. It's like, ah, uh, hello, like, are you paying attention? Because this bear is here, whatever this bear represents. So someone's wanting you to pay attention to something. Uh, you've got the sunflower. This can be about positivity because the sunflower aims towards the sun. So you're looking on the bright side of something, possibly. Or it's Queen of Wands energy. You're feeling really confident. You're feeling very motivated. You're feeling very passionate about something that you're doing in the second week. Moving into the third week, I think this is where I'm getting the message to be cautious about information that you give to people. You've got the parrots. This can be about gossip sometimes. But it could also just be about communication. Lots of financial messages coming in in this third and fourth week because you've got the dollar sign as well as the purse. I think this is where the bear card is probably coming in and possibly the preserve card. Okay, because really at its core, this message is about saving for later is really what it is. Uh, making good use out of things, being resourceful, being thoughtful about what you're using, trying not to waste things. Uh, reusing what you have, you could be getting into recycling as well, more as well. So this communication or this bird could also be this loving you message. So someone could be sending you a loving message. The pineapple can be about friends and family. 
or pineapple could have significance to you. You've got a gift coming in, so possibly receiving a gift or giving a gift in the third week. It could be encouraging you to be thrifty about this gift that you give. You know, there could be a, a, a way to do it in a way that saves you money as well. The scissors could be about cutting something out or something you have cut out of your life. Maybe something to save money. You've got the fourth week. You've got the hand. This can be about in need of assistance, asking for some sort of help. Definitely, if you need some sort of help with something, don't be shy to ask. You seem to be getting to the core of some sort of issue. You've got the envelope here. So you've got two message. You've got, wait, yeah, message, message, message. So lots of messages, loving messages in week three, special delivery in week four. That's interesting because I was getting earlier with your eight of wands, something's arriving, something's, so you could get an unexpected delivery within the fourth week. Again, you've got Libra energy here. You've got the jug. This is like an emotion, an outpouring of emotion. So with loving you, the jug, somebody could be outpouring emotion to you, sharing emotions with you. This could be friend, family member as well. All right, you've got the dragon. This can be about being protective of something, being protective of your home, being protective of something that you're guarding. It's also wands energy. To me, it's king of wands energy. <laughs> it's passion. It's expression of your passions. So I think that's really cool too. The hand could also be an offer coming in or an opportunity coming in because you did have, did you not have, yeah, you had the door. So opportunities are waiting for you. So someone could extend an opportunity for you in the fourth week. Opportunities coming in too could also have you needing to act fast, okay? So it could be something where it's like, okay, I can't really wait with this. I have to make a split second decision. So something like that could also come in with this eight of wands energy. Overall, though, looking really nice, group three. I'm loving this for you. Why don't we do your letters and the pendulum next? Okay, so look in the comments as well for suggestions with the letters. Because if you're familiar with me, you know I don't see a lot. But then occasionally I'll see like a huge word. It really just depends, I think, on my mood. Um, I see money already. Sometimes you'll see a word too without seeing all of the letters. I see hug here. We've got the word hug already. Okay, let me turn these over and then I'll give you a chance to pause if you'd like to pause. And then I'll get my hands out of the way for you. <laughs> Sorry, one second. Let me just flip these. Can you see everything? Yep. Looks good. All right. So let me know what you see. All right. My stomach is so loud right now. I wish we had a W. We'd have flowers. We might, though. Sometimes I'll be editing. I'm like, I did have that letter. So, you know, I don't see a W. But, yeah, if I keep seeing you in this garden somewhere. You could be planting a garden. That could be why we have preserves, too. Maybe you're interested in, like, maybe you have veggies or fruit that you grow. So you're learning about how to preserve. I know it's a lot more complicated than it appears because you got to learn how to do it safely. But maybe that's something you're interested in. Or freezing, even. Like, maybe something like that. Okay, you've got... So I'm seeing father. This could be the person with uh, constructive criticism, valid criticism. It could be a father-type figure or your father or somebody's father. Okay. I'm seeing heat. Some, the heat's getting turned up with a situation. The pressure of something could be building, and that's motivating you sometimes sometimes we push things off until the heat builds and then that gives us the little kick that we need to get started so that could be what it is for you I was always the one in high school doing assignments in the hallway before the bell rang my friends still bring it up but I because I worked well under that pressure uh so yeah some people work well under pressure maybe that's you maybe you've left something until the very last moment and now you're like yes I'm motivated let's do this right so maybe you like a little pressure maybe that's you as long as you're getting it done, right? It's really depends on you. Or maybe you don't like that pressure. Maybe that's 
maybe that's making you motivated is because you're like, no, I don't want this to, I don't want to leave this to last minute. I want to take care of this now. Okay. I see four. I see never. You could be getting into like meal planning or something as well. Going through items that are due to expire soon. Because it talked about reducing waste. So you could be going through items that are going to expire soon. Going through your pantry and kind of like using what you have as well uh, to make. Because I think you could be also getting creative with recipes as well. Is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing you in the kitchen and in the garden. So if that resonates, let me know. Okay, let's do your pendulum. If you want to pause and continue looking at letters, you definitely can. Let's look at the pendulum. So think of your yes or no question. Pause if you need some time to think of one. Let me just move this back out here for a second. One second. I'm just gonna... Okay, don't. That's not your answer yet. Just wait. Okay. So think of your yes or no question. Okay, it seems it is no. Okay, so the answer for right now is no, but that could change depending on what you're asking, of course. Overall, trust the cards. Before that, even though, trust your intuition, right? If today's message wasn't for you, that's okay. Have fun with it. Um, but if it was, you know, trust your intuition first and take things how they fit and how they uh, work for you. And yeah, we will see you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. You can also check out my Patreon if you enjoy me or my readings. There's some bonus content there as well and uh, a reading every single week. So yeah, we will see you next time, Group 3. Take care.